So you want to invest in Web3, but you don't know what tokens to buy, you can use Swissborg's Thematics instead. They select a collection of the best performing Web3 tokens and rebalance them upon performance. So you don't need to worry about going all in on an absolute steaming turd. Sounds good to me. Swissborg. Good morning, everybody. What a day yesterday was a crazy stuff. Absolute, absolute craziness. So um, we were saying in the beginning of the, well, in the morning yesterday on the Telegram channel, you know, Captain Hindsight, you know, is the best trader ever. We were looking at this 50 exponential saying, well, you know, we're still above it. We're still above it. We're going to hold 50 simple, still above it, still above it, going to hold. We're above this uh, horizontal, still above it, still above it, going to hold. And then sort of woke up in the morning and cowabunga, baby, all the way up. And then sort of comfortably just sort of chilling out in the evening, uh, watching uh, something on, on, uh, on the telly. And then, you know, I thought, oh, I'll go make a cup of tea. I'd look at my phone and crash, smash, boom. I was like, I, I had to double take. I was thinking, hang on a minute. I've, I've eaten too many chocolate eggs here. What, what's, what's going on? That, that can't be, that's got to be a glitch. And then I realised it was it was all true. Well, I don't know exactly what caused it. I've heard rumours that it was um, uh, the US government selling some of the Silk Road money or something like that. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> wow absolute beast of a powerful powerful move so eight percent down in a couple of hours fair enough all right so we're on the one hourly here so for the as far as the one hour is concerned we're below the bollinger band center we're above a golden cross which took place at some point yesterday so let's take it to a four hourly to see what's going on there okay so obviously we've avoided the death cross obviously we're above all major moving averages and uh for the most part for the most part uh shorts and bears have been hunted and and uh, and destroyed on this first portion up and the only people that w have won in this scenario are the people well if it is true is is the u.s government really selling that silk road money i could be wrong you have to tell me in the comments if there is another reason why it happened it certainly wasn't present on the chart we weren't overheated on the money flow index or anything like that um but either way let's look at it on a candle body basis we came down to a Bollinger Band Center on a four hourly. We wicked below it. We closed above it again, closed above a 10 exponential, and we're still trending up higher now. So as far as the formation is concerned, yeah, it's crazy. It is crazy. But as far as the trend is concerned now, despite being mad, which it definitely is mad, it's still okay, really, to be honest. It's still okay. So let's take it to the daily then, where we can just imagine that this candle body counts for everything and the wicks don't really count for a great deal. We're up to that 29,000 area. So the, the 28,000 that we were talking about a couple of days ago um, that was given to us on the one hourly, we were looking for this pump signal. The pump signal kicked in. It took us to 28,000. Uh, the 28,000 then took us up to 29,000 where things started to get really exciting. Uh, and then obviously, you know, we peaked at 30. Uh, so a very big fast train of events all given to us that we would like to say on the patreon that night we were talking about on tuesday night we were talking about the chain of events that would occur at that uh, pump signal on the four on the one hourly that would um, move over to the four hourly and then obviously the holy grail being reclaiming this twenty nine thousand and closing above it on a daily now uh, moving us there at that point up to 31 to thirty two thousand. so yesterday was a mad day so for the moment, yeah, we're still halfway uh, up on what we were discussing on Tuesday and yesterday, which is that we're above 28,000, which is a big deal because on the four hourly, which is uh, which was looking pretty nasty, we were at, you know, at the time of uh, on, on Tuesday, we were looking at this saying, well, it does look like there's an incoming death cross. But yeah, the best we could hope for really just based on the four hourly alone would be a retest of that and a rejection. Um, but then, like I say, chain of events, pump signal. Uh, reclaiming blah 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 and uh yeah at the moment the four hourly still actually looks okay and um yeah any, any shots that were taken at these levels were done by well u.s government officials probably <laughs> because there was nothing really on that chart other than a round number of thirty thousand to suggest that that is an area to uh, to short into weakness right so it's a simple story um we've got to reclaim that twenty nine thousand and close above it we want continuation based on what we see here down into a 50 exponential this could just be a bullish portion of a golden cross retest there's a golden cross back down here and this will be the first real test of it other than this which was a golden cross retest of an exponential on i mean on a simple moving average on a uh, 
on a uh, on a higher term time frame so yeah we're looking for maybe uh maybe closures above twenty nine thousand to then at that point move back up into the mid 30s and hopefully beyond uh, to make new highs so let's have a think about traditional markets are they doing anything similar to this well they are actually look here's your s p and um, this is the s p uh, 500 not the futures so this won't be open till later look at the closure here Closure um, uh, and retest of the 50 exponential, which is a portion of the Golden Cross, which is exactly what Bitcoin has done, and that's where Bitcoin has bounced from. Golden Cross, green 50 exponential, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and, uh, and all the way up. So here we go, retest of the green 50 exponential. Today's the first test of it. Um, stocks have been slapped around. Big time, baby. I don't know if you saw it yesterday, but it's, uh, yeah. and not just yesterday, but for the last couple of days, really, been, been, been hurt pretty badly. So if there is some reprieve, it would happen here or maybe down here at uh, 4,000. Now, to see another big move down into that today, I feel would be unlikely, although it's definitely possible. And I would be looking for a, a, um, a new higher low to be formed on the S&P at some point, Um soon maybe over the next couple of weeks or so i don't really feel as though it's uh we'll do a us 500 um i don't really feel as though it's, it's fair to see that happen today so us 500 there we go obviously it's the same old deal we're a little bit up on the day a little bit quarter of a percent it's no big deal the four hourly um trying to reclaim these areas so again the four hourly does look weak definitely looks weak with the short signal is generated around here might have seen that play but we're not entirely sure so let's take it to the euro then so the euro is actually still you know onwards and upwards looking really good above all these major moving averages above the support we came down to test it moving averages crossing above that support as well that horizontal level of support no real form of weakness has been expressed same thing with gold gold's actually trending up obviously after it's gone cross retest brand new highs looks like we're breaking out of a small consolidation although this area exactly right now being the 2000s is basically a daily bollinger band and finally let's have a think about altcoins so there's your golden cross retest and obviously there's yesterday's madness it's um it's 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 not as good as bitcoin bitcoin is a way better chart this is just a, an overview of all altcoins <clears throat> as a market cap and it's okay but it's not good it's, it's definitely not great rejection on the 21 support on the 200 so this looks to me like it's forming a descending triangle within moving averages with the 21 exponential being your top there with that kind of direction and your 200 exponential being your bottom forming that kind of direction and so maybe this is what we're going to be looking at pachow 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 and then which which way is it going to break descending uh, triangles often break to the down to be honest with you because the supports are, uh, are the same but the uh, resistances are lower with each retest so yeah trading within a formation is usually pretty bad um because yeah diminishing returns if you catch the low however there is a chance that we break out obviously um it's statistically more likely to break down but it is yeah, possible to obviously break out we see them all the time especially if bitcoin and traditional markets um are bullish so if we're thinking about this uh, our formation begins here we want to break out before 70 percent of the apex we've got 24 days so about 70 percent is going to be around here so if we want to see this resolved by early may <coughs> um at the latest uh, and if we do break out then obviously a formation trade um would give us a target of well it depends on where we break out but if we broke out around here it'd take us just below our previous high but then at that stage we'll be above all major moving averages and uh, we'll be looking for a trend to continue uh, as we have golden crossed and um, actually i'll keep those in just for a laugh to see how that fares actually no i won't because it's it's moving averages anyway so i don't really care about the, the trend line it's moving averages so yeah we'll be looking for us to continue to trend up but again you know we can't really get too bullish on uh, total two unless we're above well it's got to be the bond you centers so we'll call it uh, 620 billion once above that level and um, then yeah we'll be looking for this to trend up and it would just be another one of those golden cross retests with a v-shaped recovery uh, similar to gold, uh, Chapao, similar to Euro, Kapow, similar to the S&P perhaps is what we're looking at today. Also similar to uh, Bitcoin and similar to basically every other thing that we see when those setups emerge. We trade them all the time and, you know, again, we look back and go, ah, I knew it was going to happen. Um, it's not that they always do, but they are very likely to. 
Um, it doesn't mean that they always will. So yeah, Total Two has that has that setup. So again, you know, altcoins at this level is reasonable. It's risky, but it's reasonable to think about uh, picking them up or scraping them up, especially the lower we go to that two hundred exponential on the daily Total Two chart, which you know, it's it's only a good was it thirty billion. <laughs> 30 billion, what's 30 billion between friends? Anyway, I'll leave it with you there. There's not a great deal more to say about all this. But uh, yeah, if you want to join my Telegram, it's free. Links in the description below. Patreon, £7.50 a month, two live streams a week. Otherwise, hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.